What's up everybody? Welcome back to the channel. Dave from Six String Stringer coming at you live here. But it won't be live because I'm recording it and editing, so <laughs> whatever. If this is your first time on the channel, welcome as always. Don't forget to subscribe, hit that like button, follow me on Instagram and Twitter, and uh, let's just get started. Hey guys, so we're here to clear coat the back of the guitar and uh, get, the, get the neck all clear coated and done up. So let's, uh, let's stop yapping and start spraying. Alright? Yeah, let's do that. Okay guys, here it is before we get started. Um, this this here is like a crackle finish. If you haven't watched the other videos, feel free more than free to go back and watch them. But uh, it does have kind of a texture to it. So, I don't know how much clear coat I'll put on it, but I do at least want to make sure there's some kind of clear on top of that to protect everything. Um, like I said, I don't know how much we'll actually put on, but we'll get it put on anyway. <laughs> yeah, let's get started. So there's a first coat on, kind of a thin coat as usual. You can see it already starting to get shiny, uh, looking really good. So I'll let that set up for a few minutes and I'll put another coat on it. Like I said, I'll decide what I'm doing. I mean, I don't even care honestly if it's if it's uh, left a little textured. I think it'd be kind of cool, but we'll see. I mean, I'd like to have a nice glossy, glossy, gloss, gloss finish. But even if it just ended up like that, I mean, gosh, you can see reflections, right? Okay guys, so here it is, uh, second coat on. Looks really good, getting a real nice shine to everything. Trying to get a good angle here. Right you know, here on the sides. So, I may put one more coat on it. That'll be three coats. Really starting to shine up pretty nice. Like I said, I don't, I don't want to put a lot on there. I start getting runs. But it's not exactly 100% level. Yeah, it's really looking good. So yeah, I think I'll put one more coat on it here once this dries up a little bit and we'll be done with it. And then we'll start on the neck. I'm gonna stop right there. I think it's got a good, good coating on it. Um, I don't want to overdo it and start getting runs and screw things up, like I said. So I think that looks really good. So let's uh, let's go ahead and start working on that uh, headstock and the neck, and we'll uh, see where we're at after that. Okay. Okay, guys. So I'm just gonna start with the front because you know I'm gonna have to have the front dry a little bit. Where I can flip it over and hit the back of the neck and everything. That's what I'm wanting to do. So. Okay. 
round one is finished. Let that dry for maybe five, ten minutes, and uh, I'll put another coat or two on it. We'll go from there. guys so I just sprayed the third and final coat on here looks really good so we'll let that set up I don't know if I recorded the footage on it to be honest I can't remember if I turned the camera on but yeah it's got a nice coat on there now so we'll let that set up for a little bit and uh, we'll come back and we'll shoot the back of this thing okay okay so now let's uh, go ahead and work on the back of the headstock uh, as you can see here we got the front pretty well good um, yeah, I don't know. Anyway, got a nice gloss cover on it. And try to hit the. Gosh, it's hard to hold the camera and then twist this and do this and do that. E everything, whatever. You get the idea. We'll go ahead and uh, start coating the back of this. I'm gonna try to keep more of it on the back part of this because you know I want it to be nice and glossy like this. I don't want a big coating on the neck because I'll probably end up just scuffing it down anyway and keep it like a satiny type feel. So, let's just keep rolling. This video is getting really long, probably. I hope I can edit it down a little bit, but we'll see. All right, let's uh, get to work. All right, guys, I'm really glad I kept that natural. That looks really good. That's gonna make even the front look even better, I think, because it's got the maple fretboard on it. But yeah, that, that enriched the grain of the wood. Just slightly. So yeah, that's going to look really good. Alright, we'll let this set up for a few minutes and hit it again. Alright guys, we are on coat two. Everything looking good. Um, get a nice, nice glossy look on there now. So, it's really hard to get a good angle here for you to see everything. But yeah, everything looks really good. I'm gonna let this, I'm gonna let this dry up here. This really good because I will uh, come back. And I'll probably end up holding it for a little while or leveling it out really good. So I want to get a nice thick coat on that as well. I'll probably put two more coats roughly on that. Really wet coats. I'm probably I'm gonna say I'm pretty well done with the neck. I might do one more thin coat on it. But I don't want to go too far. So anyway, let's keep waiting and spraying, shall we? Alright guys, I put three coats on this so far, on this back part, and I think I'll do one more, just to make sure it's a nice, good, solid coat on top of that. Like I said, I, I don't know if it'll be textured or not, I think on the front, it pretty much, pretty much leveled out halfway okay, but um, yeah, I'll put another coat on that when it dries up a little bit. See, I got a nice shine going on right there on the edges. Got the neck. I put two coats on the neck so far. Neck's doing good. I got a little bit of a run right here. Right in. Whoop, right in there. But that's nothing major. I can get that out, no problem. Okay guys, so I got the final coat put on that. Pretty sure it's all due on it. Uh, I'll wait till it dries a little bit. But it looks like it's leveled out. Pretty halfway decent there. And uh, 
So, now we just gotta wait for this to cure up for a while. I'm pretty well done with the neck. I think the neck's got it pretty well. Like I said, I'll end up scuffing that down anyway. Then over here, the body is still drying slightly. But you can see it's got that awesome, awesome shine to it. I think it's gonna turn out really good. See the reflection of the window up there? It just it's really turned out great. Really happy with this project. And there's a stranger. Who are you? Who are you? Who are you? Get away, get away. I don't know who you are. Don't get near the guitar. Get out of here. Go on now. Go on. Go on. Literally have no who uh, no, no idea whose dog this is. Uh, there's a couple of them running around my yard. <laughs> Make me nervous because they come into the garage and it's about knock the neck off the stand that I got it on when I'm painting it. So, yeah. Bye. Get out of here now. Okay, guys. So, that's pretty much it for this video. Moving right along, man. This thing's looking really cool. Um, turning out pretty good. Pretty good. Um, so, now we're just going to wait a few days. Let this all set up real good. We'll come back with a um, kind of like a polishing and buffing type of thing. Uh, see what I can do with it. Make it pop even more hopefully the front will be you know pretty good um so yeah we'll go with that and uh let me know down below what you guys think you guys are awesome you guys are been leaving your comments appreciate each and every one of you doing that that's great um love the community what we're creating here um so yeah get a chance to share this video out trying to grow the channel guys um got an announcement maybe coming around the 2000 mark when we hit 2000 so you might want to stay tuned for that one. But uh, again, if you're new to the channel, make sure you subscribe. Make sure you hit the like button. Make sure you hit that little notification bell. That way you know when I'm uploading videos because you don't want to miss a thing. That'll do it for this video. You guys rock. Follow me on Instagram and Twitter, and we will see you in the next video. Rock on, everybody. Don't forget, it's all about the music. See you later.